Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. As you can see from our graph, Cardano rocketed into sixth position right behind BNB. The market cap is still like less than half of BNB, but still rocketed into sixth position uh, with a massive 25.91% gain. And that could be because of two reasons. There were a lot of NFTs being minted, over 5 million NFTs on over 60,000 60, distinct policies. So Cardano was very, very interact, uh, active in the NFT field. So you can't really say it's a chain with nothing on it. It has both DeFi and NFTs. And the Vassal hard fork is approaching. So this might be the long-awaited Vassal fork pump. Now, the thing is, the Vassal Fork is an upgrade that should actually solve a lot of the congestion issues and improve the speed and efficiency of ADA. Now, that is in theory. Will it actually do that by that much? Maybe, maybe not. I'm pretty sure they have attested it. I believe it's supposed to come on June 29th, and I do not think they will actually delay it this time. So at the end of basically a month from now, everything should actually speed up and all should be happy. That is the uh, thought anyways. Will it actually work out that way? Who knows? But I am hoping, I am definitely hoping it actually does work out that way. So that's why it's actually pumped up today. Yes, there are a lot of NFTs being minted, but since that's never really affected the price before, I don't expect it to affect the price now. Will it keep rising? I think if Bitcoin holds, it should steadily rise at least until mid-June. But if Bitcoin continues to dump, then Cardano will dump it as well. And if Bitcoin moves sideways, it's generally not good for any of the alts, including Cardano. That will definitely not improve its pumping ability. Now, Bitcoin's at 31500 The stock market futures right now are up for tomorrow, but, you know, they're barely up. So it's really anyone's guess on what they'll actually do tomorrow at open. But if the crypto market moves positive, then overall... Cardano will move even more positive. I think Bitcoin only really has to reach 40,000 for Cardano to really break a dollar right now. But that could be much, much harder than we anticipated. Like I said, it should pump until maybe like two weeks, maybe a week before the fork, before leveling off. And after the fork, I do actually expect it to retrace because that's what always happens. Yes, after the fork, there will be more DeFi and there will be more NFTs. But the thing is... Um, you know, like in terms of price wise, people always buy the rumor and sell the news. I don't expect this vassal hard fork to be any different. There's going to be a lot of excitement and there's going to be a lot of future development around ADA and Cardano. But price wise, everyone, especially during a bear market, will buy the rumor and then sell the news. So we need to be aware of that. So that's kind of what I think it might continue to go slightly up for a couple of weeks and then dip down a little bit. Uh, after the vassal hard fork so that's the news for today let me know what you think like and subscribe hit that bell notifications button i will see you guys later